Hello and welcome to the Geek Lab. And today we've uh, got a computer here we haven't seen for 10 months. This is the Ultimate XP gaming rig, which was provided to me by Neil Simpson in bits, and I had to build. And you'll see that in the prior video. Now we did originally get an operating system on this, get it all sorted, and when we tried to run games it will crash. Now apparently that may be because uh, the card is not compatible with DirectX that's needed uh, to run those games but some legacy drivers may help. Now the rig itself, I'm just going to have to read this because my memory is rubbish. It is an AMD Athlon uh, 64 times 2 dual core processors 6400 uh, 2 gigabytes of memory and now has a 500 gigabyte hard drive in it and a point of view GTX 260 graphics card. Uh, the reason it now has a 500 megabyte hard drive in is because the one in the previous video has failed catastrophically. Now we've tried to load XP into this but it keeps failing every time uh, I try to load it. Maybe because the desk I'm using is not of the in the best condition. So I have created a new copy which I shall bring here. It's a genuine copy I've created. And we're gonna try and install it. See if it will take it, get it backed up to scratch, and see if we can get it finally gaming. So let's see if we can get XP on this thing. Right, so let's uh, open the disk drive. This one appears to be powered, so I imagine it's that one. Well, it appears it's a long time since I did it, but I was trying it with this one, so it may be because it's a HP or Compaq that was causing it to crash. It's just after it copied the files, it would crash every time. So I don't know quite what's going on there, but uh, let's uh, enter setup. It should still be set to boot from CD, but we'll just make sure. Uh, advanced boot, boot, priorities, first boot is CD-ROM, yes. Then hard disk, okay, can, just out of curiosity, can you go for USB? Removable, that might be USB, so it might be possible to do a USB install. Uh, F10, save and exit. Excuse me. Yes, I want to save the configuration and exit now. Okay. So it's going to be built and we shall see what it does with XP. Okay, it's uh, successfully reading off the uh, genuine CD. <coughs> so that's a good sign. And uh, yes, we'll see how it does. May crash, may not. If it gets past the stage it was at before, we'll come back. Hmm, interesting that my uh, some Toshiba computer view is very big. Eh, this is not. <laughs> mm. This is uh, a bit strange. Uh, Toshiba only have a system income. Okay. Right, Windows XP. I don't know what's going on about there. So it's strange that my genuine disk. Uh, that's Toshiba on it. Okay. Uh, uh, next. Hard disk will be completely erased. I think it already is, so that's not an issue. What you're doing? Is it going to do anything? We shall find out and report back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it appears uh, there was a bit of a schoolboy error there because, yeah, I thought it, this only this drive was plugged in. And reading off that, it wasn't. It was reading off that one, in which was sitting. Uh, hello, you can see me. This Toshiba disk. So yeah, that solves that mystery. So, ooh, that's happy. That's any key to boot from. That's better. Right. <coughs> okay, that's more of a normal XP boot. Let's see how far we get with this. Okay, I have a conundrum. It's been sitting there for a while, saying examining this four seven. <laughs> Sorry, 476,938 megabytes 
disc zero at ID zero on buzz zero on apty and I've been sitting there a while and as you can see the hard drive light is just fast flashing slowly so yeah I don't know I may try another disc because it could be that that disc is buggered hmm not quite sure what to do there I think I shall yes I'll put another disc in because that's not happy definitely not time for another hard drive okay yeah that's still ticking away so I'm going to try this 250 gig hard drive if this fails I have an 80 gig which I do know works but I want to try and get a larger hard drive in this so I'll give it a fair chance so um should have done this from the front shouldn't I really Right, let's knock this thing off. What's that? It's obviously not working. Come on. We'll work on 10 seconds or we got... Ah, there we go. Right. Let's quickly swap that hard drive over. Right, that's the 250 in, so we're gonna power up, <coughs> see how far we can get. Oh, power lead. <coughs> oh, what a clue. Then I'll pull this monitor over so you can see better. It's a 500 gig that came out, 250 going in, so here it goes. Mm -hmm. I found this one. Oh yeah, there we go. Sometimes it doesn't turn the monitor on automatically, which is a bit weird, but there we go. Light. We have a solid red light on the drive. I don't know. Is it usually like that? No, oh, no, it's gone out. Phew, thank goodness. Sir. Right. We'll see if it gets past that point this time. And I'll be back. Bloody hell. It was sitting there for ages, saying Windows are starting up. No activity on either drive. Just a Quick flash from that now and again, and I'm like, eh. is that going to uh, find any hard setup? Did not find any hard disks installed on your computer. Oh, cold! Ew, coolie, cum drops. Definitely a hard drive in there, but hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to try the 80 gig. Bugger! Yeah, and just because I didn't learn the first time. Okay. Oh, different activity on the drive this time, so eh, maybe. Never know. I'll be back. I actually do hope it loads this time because my genuine copy is on a Poundland disc, so its lifespan is questionable. But yeah, seems to be good so far, but I'm not going to try not to jinx myself. We'll be back. Okay, during the uh, setup of starting windows, uh, we had disk activity and seems to be happy. Uh, let's have a look. Come on. This is the bit that makes you nervous. Come on. How's the disks doing and stuff? No activity. Please wait. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. You little sh. Come on. At least do something to let me know you're still there. Oh, I hit this. Is it going to do anything? Maybe I'll entertain you with some puppets. There we go. 
Nope. Hmm. Okay, we'll be back in a moment if this clears. If. <laughs> oh, we have activity just as I was about to do. Camera. Yes! That's got that far. Right, F8, I definitely bloody agree. Got the hard drive. And. Delete the partition, slot resulting in partition space. Never had this before. Right. <coughs> Delete the partition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Press L. Okay. Enter. Install. Yeah. Go. Set up is formatting. Now, it's been a while, so I'm not sure if it got past this part. And then it was where it started copying the files afterwards that it went caca. But we'll find out. I shall be back because I'm sure you don't want to sit there watching that. <clears throat> I'll be back. Now, this thing is not finished uh, formatting, as you can clearly see. But you may notice that this door is open. So, come follow me. I have things to show you. Right. Welcome to the exclusive world of Behind the Machine. While it's running, I'll show you this. Not my cup of tea. That is not the subject of this. There's the two videos. And that's a little fork I'm playing with. But, yes, you'll notice uh, this fan here. This was not running, I noticed, while sitting around waiting for this. But inside, you'll notice uh, there's actually power supply coming. There's a power supply lead coming from out from the front, <laughs> out from the front of the computer, and the fan wasn't working. Uh, so I put a multimeter onto this. This is dead. This goes up into the front panel and disappears into the ether. So I can't trace this to see what's wrong, but it is sadly dead. Fortunately, there's a power supply here for a hard drive that isn't in there with the current configuration. So I've managed to plug it into that, and now, so yes, I've plugged it into that, and now it's running quite happily. Got more case cooling. Cool. Right. Let's continue with this install. Ninety-nine percent. Jesus, this has been long. In many ways, I'm glad the uh, five hundred gig didn't work, because yeah, that would have been painfully slow. Oh well, I'll be back. Okay, this is the point where before it was crashing. It would not get this far, it would not copy the files. So it looks like we're in luck. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'll cut out the rest of it and if we get to the desktop, I'll be back at that point. Oh, it's getting close. Nearly at the desktop. Ooh, nice. Just need to see if my stick is working. No. Yeah. I never know what setting to use that speaker on because it's a bit speaker off, let's just see. Dunno. Right. We shall play with that later. Let's uh, continue the setup and I'll be back once it's at the desktop. Excellent. We are at the desktop. Wow. So all those problems are resolved. Oh, computer, my, my computer's at risk because it's running Windows, but there we go. I'm just trying to see. Uh, media library. Oh, yes. Go on then. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, all music. Is there any music in here? No. Nope. I haven't give us any videos or anything to play with. Oh god. Hmm. Right. Nye. Looks like I'm gonna have to put some C D in or something. But yes, we have a desktop. So next we need to put the graphics drivers in, possibly sound drivers. Uh see if we can get the latest uh motherboard drivers for it. And then, we'll get back to the issue of trying to get this thing to game like we did 
in the other video. Oh, we'll also need to put uh, we'll also need to put drivers in this so it can read uh, larger USB sticks like two gigs, which is large to this thing, so I can transfer games to it. So uh, yes, let's crack on with that. Yes, it looks like there's not an issue with my speaker. It looks like there's no sound drive installed. I think this was uh, we had this to do last time as well. So we'll get that done. Right, another day, another headache, and uh, yeah, genuinely surprisingly, this is actually recognised a 16 gigabyte SD card. Uh, last time with the old uh, operating system on the old drive, he had to install extra drivers for this, so I don't know what's going on there, and I'm not going to argue with it. So, what we've done, we've downloaded uh, the drivers for the motherboard, some utilities for the motherboard, uh, sound drivers, USB 2 support and the video card drivers. So, that says Windows Vista. Hmm, don't want Vista. I should have to check that against the other, ah XP, it says XP there, so we can do that. So, time to get these uh, all these drivers installed. Hopefully we'll have sound and proper video and then we can get gaming. Although I'm going to benchmark this first and see what exactly what performance we got. So let's do these drivers first. Ooh, stuff coming online. It's exciting, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Right. Okay. Apparently, uh, That's IDE. Where's my audio? I.O. Because I don't appear yet to have any sound. Let's have a look. Uh, on our audio CD here. Let's just open it. Nope, close. Hmm. Thought I saw audio files. Hmm, right. I have to go back uh, to the other computer and see what's happening there. Right, having consulted with the mini iMac, uh, I did download the audio drivers, I was right. Uh, it's just a 32-bit folder, so it must be hiding in here. Ah. Uh, this is the one that wouldn't install, so it's this one, not uh, the other one. There we go, this is better. Right, we'll install this. I've had a click from the speaker, so something's happening. Just a bit slowly. Yeah, I've got to... Yes, there we go. Sound. Ha, oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Just the uh, video ones to do now. So let's let this restart. And we'll put the video drivers on. Then we should, as far as I know, uh, be done. With drivers apart from, I think I need to put DirectX 10 on this. Yes. <coughs> Although that said, DirectX 10 might be on the drivers here, so we'll, uh, we'll look at that first. Net is not. Is that right? Here we go. That's better. Oh, that's good. Right. Fast boot, wasn't she? Okay. Let's uh, have a look on that SD card. Oh, sound. Woohoo. Right. Yes, this is the GTX 260. It was uh, quite a high-end card uh, at its time. There was one above, and this one is the second one. 
about two hundred and fifty dollars, something like that. I uh, like to believe. Uh, the only problem is <coughs> it can't run DirectX 11, so we're stuck with DirectX 10. But it is an XP machine, so it's not a problem. It will it will play Crisis apparently, and GTA 3 or 4, something like that, and some other games I'm going to look at. So it should be quite good. <coughs> Installation has finished. Yep, we'll restart again. Right, back in a more. Right, I don't know. Uh, if DirectX has been installed on here, or which version. So I'm just crazily looking around at the moment. Just having a look, see if I can find which version it is. Uh, hmm. Yep, I'll go look. There's going to be a way to check. I shall find out and uh, back in a moment. Right, apparently, start run DX Diag. Uh, no, don't want to connect to the internet. Okay. Uh, this tool reports details of the components such as text functionality, causing the problem, DPD, current day, computer name, operating system, language system, model, processor, DirectX version 9. Right, so what we need to do is get this up to DirectX 10, which is what we're going to do now. Go and uh, get some drivers off of the other computer, and we'll be back. Okay, so. Uh, this is DirectX 10 going on to the system. The ultimate XP gaming machine. It certainly is a beast. Mm -hmm. Okay, why does it want the internet? Boogie Ofsky. Is this DirectX X10 or have I downloaded something else by accident? Hmm. Well, not by accident, but I've been scammed. I don't remember DirectX wanted to connect to the internet to do this. Hmm. I have to look into this some more. Right, I tried a couple of ways and they all went caca. So eventually, I went online and followed some instructions in a video and basically. You create a folder on your desktop, then you drag across the file you've downloaded, the June 2010 redistribution. You extract it into there, and then once it's in there, somewhere amongst all the slot, you find DX Setup. There we go. I accept. And this should have us running DirectX 10 in no time. I'll be back once it is. Okay, that's installed, so let's have a look at DX Dialog and see what we've got. Right, so it's DirectX 9, so I imagine, as usual with uh, Mr. XP, we will need to restart. Back in a moment. Okay, strangeness going on. I've done the DirectX 10 up, uh, update, but it's still reporting DirectX 9. Hmm, I shall consult Google, see if this is a common thing or what's going on. Be right back. Right, after a bit of research, uh, I installed a GPU Z, which looks at all the details of the GPU. And it said DirectX support is 10. But, boink. If you click on it, it says that uh, XP only supports up to DirectX 9. So it's, yeah, it's ignoring 10 by the looks of it. Windows 7 goes up to DirectX 11, so we're stuck at uh, DirectX 9 by the looks of it, so yes, you have to play uh, games to its limit, Let's see one there. Right, okay, some benchmarking I think. Right, another day, and we did put 3 Mark 6 on this computer to try and benchmark it, went through all the benchmarks, 
pinch marks and as you can see we got loads of pretty graphics but then at the end it said uh, you need to submit your results to the web and view them there so that screwed them so any bench Right, it seems we've got a small problem with the uh, Cinebench as well, because every time I do this, I get this! And I've downloaded this from several sources and getting the same bloody error, so... No Cinebench for us today. So, instead, let's just get on with uh, having a look at some how... Some... Uh, at some... Uh, at how some of the games run. Let's talk a crisis, shall we? Yeah. Never played this before. And the question is, can it run Crisis? The answer is, oh yes. Back in the boat. Right, here we are, with Roger, Crisis. And, as you can see, we're running quite well on the frame rate. I'll see if I can find a bit where there's fighting going on, but at the moment... Hold mouse 3, I said... Oh, right. Rendezvous with Jester and head to Aztec's location. Check your objectives display. As you can see, even as we're battling here, getting 40 odd FPS, so yeah, I died as usual. But, as you can see, uh, crisis. As you can see, as we're battling here, die, die. good FPS. So, that's like Crisis. Seems to be working just fine. Let's go have a look at another one. And as you can see in Mass Effect here, we're getting a solid 30, 40 odd uh, FPS, even while getting killed. I just do auto level up. So, oh. So yeah, you can see uh, Even in Mass Effect here, well, we're in the middle of battles, we're getting uh, in the 40s, 50s uh, FPS. Ignore the breaking up sound, that's my speaker, that's not the, not the game or anything. So, yeah. And this is on high settings as well, so this is very good performance. Let's uh, check out Bioshock. Now would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? I'll do that gladly. Oh, that made me jump. But you can see here, there is absolutely no problem with the FPS on this system. It runs beautifully. A little slow down there as it uh, updates itself, but yeah. So I have not done this section before, so... This is all new to me. Uh, but yeah. As you can see, running plenty fast enough. I would show you Fallout as well, but I'm still in the very early stages of that, so it's just talking and that's about it. But you're getting similar results to this on those sections, so bloody good performance. This is a really good performance XP machine, so quite happy with that. Those FPS is there. Right, okay. The spot for you on the wall yet. Anyway. So, know you have a there we go. Brilliant! Right, that's it for this video and the Ultimate XP Gaming Machine. I've tried my best to find software to benchmark this, but it's not having it for whatever reason. If you can think of any benchmarking software we can use in the next video, then uh, please let me know. Because in the next video, we're going to try and overclock this. So, we'll try the CPUs and the GPUs. So that could be some fun. 
other than that, what we're going to do, we have the games here, and if you go over to my Facebook group, we are going to put a poll in as to which you'd like to see me playing live. Other than that, if you've enjoyed the video, then please like it. You can also subscribe to the channel. If you do, please hit the notification bell so you get notified of future videos. You can join us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you wish to support the channel, you can do through Patreon. Other than that, thank you all very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. Yeah. <laughs>